Good morning, Bengals. Today is Friday, March 5th. I'm John DeNovo, and please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Most loving Redeemer, I give you thanks because you love me so much that you have died for me. Grant that I may love you back in the same manner. Amen. St. Benedict, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for your announcements. All freshmen, sophomore, and juniors are to check their computers for the Ohio Secure browser on their desktops. If they don't see it, they are to come to room 204 to have it installed. Attention winter athletes, please stop at the main office to pick up your winter sport pictures. Reminder that freshman basketball pictures will be taken today at 3.15 p.m. And reminder, juniors, will be taking the ACT on Tuesday. We will be reminding you once more next week about the details. Attention students, the math department hopes you're excited for our, our upcoming celebration of Pi Day. While Pi Day is a Sunday this year, we will be celebrating early on Friday, March 12th. Unfortunately, while we usually run two contests, we, will be, uh, we cannot have our homemade pie baking contest this year due to continuing COVID-related concerns and a number of logistical issues. We are happy to, to report that we are still running the Pi Memorization Contest. Students are challenged to memorize as many digits of Pi as possible, and next Friday, March 12th, stop in to see your math teacher or Mr. Ryan in room 201 to participate. You will write out as many digits as you can remember on paper your teacher will provide. Three does not count, so we will begin counting your digits at 1415. This can be done before school, after school, or during your class period with your teacher if they allow. The top three placers in the competition will win a gift card to Chipotle, and if they want one, a math-themed t-shirt. Students should also discuss the possibility of extra credit with their math teacher. Some may be offering quarter three extra credit based on your performance in the contest. Good luck. And attention seniors, be sure to fill out the Chipotle Lunch Google Form to ensure your lunch will be here next Thursday, March 11th. The Google Form is due Tuesday and can be found in your email. Money is due next Tuesday, March 9th. If you do not fill out the form and pay for your lunch, you will not be receiving one. And this is for in-person learners only. If you have any questions, see M M Michael Kenny. Students, today is the last day to turn your Mally's chocolate orders. Each box the student sells, $10 goes to their class for the end of the year activities, and all money goes to student council. Check your emails for more information from Mr. Salem. And please continue to follow the COVID-19 guidelines. Wear your mask over your mouth and nose, use the correct stairwells, and keep social distance. Also, please continue to follow the dress code. And to finish off another gaff week, as boxing champion Alan Minter said in defending his sport, sure, there have been injuries and deaths in boxing, but nothing serious. This is John DeNovo, and these are your morning announcements. Later, Bengals.